So this question is a pretty long question. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a word problem, so I'm going to think through it in the translate word problem strategy way, which simply means any quantitative information that I read, I want to make sure to write it down. So the first sentence here says, the list shown gives the heights in inches for the six 10-year-old children in a group. All right, so we see those six heights provided here. A seventh child with a height of 60 inches will be added to the group. So I am, instead of just keeping that in my mind, I'm going to actually physically write in the 60 into that list. Which of the following correctly describes how the mean and the median of the group will change when the seventh child is added? Well, let's figure out what is the mean of the group before the seventh child is added, right? So the mean of the six, and I'll just put parentheses six. So how do we find a mean? We find the mean by adding up all six heights. So let's just go to our calculators and do that pretty quickly. 52 plus 53 plus 54 plus 54 plus 55 plus 56. I get 324, and then I divide that by six. So I get a mean of 54. But when I go and add in the additional student that has the height of 60, I do the same exact math, 52 plus 53 plus 54 plus 54 plus 55 plus 56, now plus 60, I'm getting 384, but I divide that by seven because there are seven children now, and I get a mean of 54.85. Right, And the truth is, we should have known that our mean value was going to go up right? because the additional value that we added is higher or you know, is a larger quantity than all of the other values that are here. But anyway, we figured that out for sure, so we know that our mean will increase. So answer choice A says the mean will increase, so that's pretty good. Answer choice B says the mean will decrease, so that's gone. Uh, C says the mean, will the mean will increase, but D says the mean will decrease, so D is gone, right? So based upon the mean, we're able to, to uh, knock out two of the answer choices. The next one is the median. The median is even easier to find. The median is just the middle number. So I'm going to erase my 60 for right now and say, well, what's the middle number when I don't add the 60? All right, I like to just cross out from the edges here. In fact, we have two middle numbers. They're both the same value here. So the median, when it's six, is 54. But when I add in the seventh number here, the 60, the median is still 54, right? So it stays 54. So we want increase and remain the same. So choice C is the correct answer. The mean will increase and the median will remain the same.